Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. In this video, I'm going to take you through the best things to do in Sao Miguel Azores. Now, if this is your first time watching me, hi, my name is Alba. I run this channel with my partner Nas, and I recently visited the island of Sao Miguel in Azores, Portugal, with my family. I've already done two vlogs about it, so you guys can check it out under my channel. But today, I'm going to tell you everything you cannot miss on your trip. Let's get started. The first place that you will definitely want to visit on your trip is Ponta Delgada. Ponta Delgada is the main town in the island of São Miguel, so there is quite a lot of things to see. You can start your day by viewing the marina, walking around the port, and then heading into the city center where you will be able to find lots of historical pieces. So of course you have the main church, there are some gates that you can see into the city, historical gates, um, and the most beautiful thing about it, in my opinion, is just walking around the town, seeing the colorful houses, the colorful streets, it's very beautiful. You can definitely make a full day out of this, um, but it will be more of a relaxed day. Um, there are some things additional that you can see that you can add to your itinerary in Ponta Delgada, like for example, you can go and visit the military museum, or you can go visit uh, some of the botanical gardens in the town. One of the things that I loved the most about Ponta Delgada that made us return actually quite a few times during our time in Sao Miguel is that there is so much choice of restaurants, so it is also a great place to wine and dine in Sao Miguel. The second thing you cannot miss is the most famous view in the island. This is what on the internet people call the view of Setesi Dutch. Now, this is not the exact point that you're gonna have to visit. You're gonna have to go to a place called Miradouro da Grotta do Inferno and this is the most beautiful view in the whole island and it's the most famous one. I'm sure you have seen it when researching your trip. I will leave it up here for you. Um, it's incredible. It is a little bit of a walk to get to that viewpoint, but it's totally worth it. If you do want to learn more about how to get there and what other things to see during that day trip, I recommend you check out um, our previous vlog. I will leave it in the description for you. But basically in that video, I tell you all the other viewpoints and all the other things that you can do on your way to this viewpoint because it's not just that one place there is quite a few other things that you can do during that day and i recommend stopping by through all of the places the third thing you don't want to miss in san miguel is going to visit some hot springs now the island of san miguel in Azores is a volcanic island so it has a lot of geothermal activity which basically has allowed them to create some really really cool hot springs basically what this means is there is hot water coming out of stones and no matter what time of the year it is you can go in because the water is so hot that even in cold temperatures you can try them out so i definitely recommend to add this to your itinerary now there are quite a few places where you can do this around the island um, there is a very famous one called caldera velha which is the one that most people go to but if you do make sure to book your tickets online as you don't want to miss a spot but there are other places in the islands where you can go that you don't have to book tickets in advance if you want to learn more about this i also made a vlog of our experience what are the things that we did wrong and then how we found a really nice set of hot springs to visit so go check it out i will leave it in the description Another thing that me and my family really enjoyed is going to visit the tea factory. The tea factory is called Gorriana Tea Factory and it was so beautiful we didn't expect it to actually enjoy it that much um, and the reason for that is that it has some uh, tea leaves terraces and they are very similar to what you would find in Asia um, as rice terraces so it really reminded me of Bali um, I think it's very beautiful definitely worth going it's totally free so you don't even have to pay anything to visit it um, you can just go in walk around the tea terraces go and in, even inside the factory see the factory and have a delicious tea overlooking the terraces 
if you enjoy the outdoors and nature i would also recommend going on a hike or going to see some of the waterfalls that the island has to offer there are some that require more of a hike and there are others that are much more accessible i was visiting with my parents so we decided to visit this one which was uh, accessible by a car and we didn't have to walk much but if you are into walking there are others that you can that you can visit and i definitely recommend checking out because the nature in this island just kept surprising us. It's beautiful. Visiting a beach. Now, even though São Miguel is not the most known for its beaches, it does have an array of beautiful natural beaches. We visited this one specifically that's called Santa Barbara and it was the surfer's beach. It was a black sand beach. It was really gorgeous to just relax at, enjoy the ocean breeze. There is many other beach points that you can find on Google Maps and I definitely recommend going to visit them because you will enjoy it even if you don't wanna go into the water. A town to add to your itinerary is Furnes. It is one of the towns in the island that has the most geothermal activity. So there you will find some hot springs. But what's very interesting about this town is that they do this specific dish that it's typical from there, from this town only. And it's called Cusido de Furnes. It's uh, this hot pot of meat uh, and some veggies that they actually cook in the ground with the the heat of the rocks um, so it's very interesting there's multiple restaurants in Furnes um, that do this and they literally go out to cook it outside for you and then bring it back to your table it's quite interesting unfortunately it's not something we were able to try out because my family and I we have dietary requirements that meant we couldn't eat this dish but um, if you are into meat and you want to try this local dish make sure to go to Furnas. And just a general tip for when you go and visit São Miguel I do recommend getting a car to get to all of these different points that I've recommended but also the drive around the island always has scenic views it is very beautiful and there are so many viewpoints along the way that you'll definitely want to stop and soak in the views take some photos but that's gonna be everything for this video Video. I hope that you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions about visiting São Miguel Azores, make sure to leave it in the comments and I'll get back to you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you enjoyed and I will see you in our next video.